Yeah, I mean, it's you know, November to April is is a lot of basketball, and there's a long journey, and it's a multi year journey. I've talked about this before. Like, whoever we end up drafting on April the fifteenth, it won't be a story that started in November of this year. It is a story that goes back years, sometimes back into high school and beyond. Um, so it is a long process to get to the point where you pick up the phone and say, with the fifth pick in the 2024 draft, the Dallas Wings select blank. Um, so for that reason, it's rewarding and fulfilling. It's also fun. Like this is one of the fun parts of the job. Draft is fun. And it's kind of like the first day of school. Like there's no downside, right? You draft a player. It's all about excitement, potential, hope, opportunity. And the reality doesn't come until the ball rolls out on April the 28th and you start to realize, were you right or were you wrong? Are you going to be right long-term or are you going to be wrong long-term? That's where you your return on your investment truly gets measured. But between draft night and that point, it's all flowers and roses and butterflies. It's all good stuff. So draft night's fun. There's no downside to it. It's just, it's, every, it's like a mini rebirth every year. It's that first day of school where everyone feels good. It's new. It's exciting. Um, and it's a night of hope and optimism.